Hey, my name is Evan Wall. I currently live in Squamish, BC, and I love to ride bicycles. Squamish, BC is located in the Sea to Sky Mountains. It's kind of the mecca of mountain biking in Canada. Big mountains, super rocky, super green in the forest, just an awesome place to be. Came out to Squamish just because I wanted to ride my bike year round, put in a solid effort for training. Riding bikes is pretty special because when you're in the moment, it's kind of all that's happening. So you don't have any other thoughts and you're just out in the forest, either alone or with people. So good for the mind and good for the body. So just out there having a good time. We got training peaks here is where kind of all my days are uh, outlined. So we got 15 minute warm up. We just did that on the skier, a little bit of a salt bike skipping in the rower machine. Um, just a quick 45 minute posterior pull workout here. So we'll do that here now. And then uh, after that, we'll go through and do some intervals. I've known Evan since he was a Grom pretty much. Uh, I saw him at the races when he was a kid. I helped him out a little bit with one of my grassroots teams before he moved on to another team and we've kind of come back together since he started uh, racing for Orbea. I think the relationship between hard work and play is, is that, you know, to play in a place like Squamish is hard work. You know, just to ride the fun trails, you have to work hard to get there. You know, the fun sports that Evan likes beyond mountain biking, they're hard work. You know, riding a dirt bike is hard work and so you know, as I said already, he already works really, really hard just because it's fun for him. All the sports he enjoys are hard work. Ski touring, mountain biking, dirt biking, digging, all of those things are hard labor. Um, and then it's up to me to basically take that hard work and maybe just shape it ever so slightly to get even more return on that hard work. Previous years, I didn't really put a whole lot into training. I just had a good time on the bike. And when I wasn't on the bike, I was either sledding, skiing, or dirt biking. So after winning the Pink Bike Academy, I decided to take things a little bit more seriously, not let the fun slip away though. But uh, yeah, I moved out to Squamish where I started training with Blueprint Athlete Development. And uh, yeah, I've been putting in solid days of training, both on the bike, off the bike, on the dirt bike. And yeah, it's been huge so far, both like skills and strength. The geography in the Sea to Sky sort of speaks for itself. You know, the, the blue trails here are like black trails in most other places in the world. So if you, can, if you can confidently descend a double black trail in Squamish in any conditions, you know that you can travel in the EWS or in any other race series and, and probably show up to a venue and feel pretty good about your skills. And then the other piece about having Evan in Squamish is probably for the first time in his life, he's surrounded by a group of athletes who have the same mindset as him. So he's got friends who have the same goals as him, who work as hard as him. And again, we talk about hard work and fun. When you can combine all that with a good social group, it's the perfect recipe to, you know, improving as an athlete, but also just having fun along the way and just enjoying the journey. I've been treating trail building as my rest days for a little while, but then you're out here swinging tools for like eight hours and realize you're not so rested. So I'm cutting back on that a little bit. Taking proper rest days now. I remember Evan when he was at the races, hooting and hollering, either wearing a Pilsner jersey or no jersey at all. And honestly, that same energy hasn't really changed. Yeah, that's how you react when people took a slumber on you. Pretty brown skin.
again, baby. I can see the summer on you. You see all the bread, and I know it make you wonder, don't you, don't you, don't you? Ooh, I ain't surprised at all. Seen them rise and fall. Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all. At the top, I found some relief. I finally got some peace. Carry on with please, don't mess up the mall. Yeah, I worked too hard for it. No, I need to beat it, but you mess up the mall. Balancing personal and professional life is kind of funny because I just basically want to ride my bike anytime. So if uh, if I wasn't given mandatory rest days, I'd just go blast all of the time and just be too tired to do anything. And then also making sure I don't change as a person. Um, like still make sure everything's fun, still make sure I have time for the people that matter. But then also setting aside the time for going to the gym and like social media and all the kind of behind the scenes thing that racers do. Evan is like one of those dogs whose tail is always wagging really hard and you're not entirely sure why his tail is wagging so hard but you can't help but smile like no matter what he does whether he's like cooking dinner especially when he's on his bike he's out for a run he just has the best attitude out of anyone I've ever met. Aside from racing my main goal of the summer was to become a broil king um burgers tonight well hopefully my racing does better than this because yeah that's not so good first batch like he will notice someone in the corner of the room and make sure that they feel that they're a part of the group super inclusive and really notices the mood of people and if it's Anywhere lower than him, he makes sure that your mood is right up with him. <laughs> the fact that he won, he doesn't talk about how good he is. If you ran into him and you hadn't watched Pink Bike Academy, there's nothing that would be any different. But his tail's wagging harder. He's really happy. He's able to just live his life to its full potential. It's so cool to see. Growing up, I was basically surrounded by bikes in the basement and uh, race cars in the garage. My dad, his two things were always uh, like mountain sports and car racing. He used to race rally and road racing and such. So I was always growing up around fast things, which probably fueled the racer in me. Both my parents love doing stuff like riding bikes. Uh, my mom's into horses, same with my little sister. And I was actually into that before biking, really. And then once my dad took me to the BMX track, we started that together and then slowly transitioned into mountain biking. And yeah, so far the riding here has been crazy. Just like still finding new stuff all the time. There's so much variety and so many trails around. So yeah, just exploring the new home to me and it's been sweet. And then yeah, riding with friends all the time is awesome because you get to just hoon around, smash things. and laugh with your buddies scooting down the trail and then on the flip side of that riding solo it's all super accessible and close so i can just hop out of my garage and ride from home go like just hang out in the forest slow things down a little bit when i'm solo kind of focus on little things and yeah there's definitely benefits to both sides
This opportunity with the Orbea Enduro team has been kind of what I've been dreaming of since I was a kid, getting to train and race for a living. And yeah, I'm taking this opportunity for everything it's worth. So focusing on media, training, um, and then racing once summer comes around, which is going to be awesome. Yeah, everybody I've worked with so far through the team has been awesome. The, everything's dialed, the bikes are super fun. It's just been unreal so far. I'm stoked to continue to grow with them. Biking's super special to me ever since I was a kid. Like parents couldn't get me off my bike. I'd be dropping curbs before I was off the training wheels. And through the progression of growing up, I never lost sight of biking. So it's pretty special to be able to do what I'm doing today. And I look forward to growing on it.